The term virtual reality is almost self-explanatory. Virtual means almost or near while reality means what is actually experienced. Therefore, virtual reality fundamentally implies near reality. It is used to refer to an imitation of reality. We know our reality or our world through our perception systems and our senses. All that we know is a combination of the information that our senses convey to the brain and how the brain makes sense of it. Thus, you can create a reality by feeding the senses with fabricated information. This new reality that you will know is one that does not really exist but you will perceive as if it does. Now that is virtual reality. Defining it in technical terms is easy. It is simply a three-dimensional environment created by a computer and can interact with and be explored by a person. The person can perform actions in that environment since they become a part of it. In today's world, virtual reality can be achieved by the use of computer technology. Examples of systems that can be used to achieve this include special gloves, headsets, and omnidirectional treadmills. The systems provoke the senses together and achieve a misapprehension of reality. It sounds simple but it is not. Our brains are wired in such a way that, if anything is amiss we will notice. Hence virtual reality technology takes into account the aspect of our physiology. It seeks to combine software, hardware, and sensory synchronicity perfectly so as to achieve a sense of presence. Augmented reality technology lays digital information and images over a real-life environment when they are viewed on a mobile device. It may sound new to you, but the technology has been there for over half a century. Morton Heilig, a cinematographer, invented the 3D machine in 1962 which combined film with sensory stimuli creating an immersive environment. In the 90s Tom Codell, a researcher, came up with the name augmented reality to refer to the graphical overlays that were used by technicians in the Boeing aircraft. The technology was refined to be used on smart devices in 2016 and advertiser interest to reach mobile consumers keeps growing. The interest to reach consumers digitally proves augmented reality useful in interaction and attraction of customers. Augmented reality incorporates 3D digital images into real-world locations. Companies that specialize in digital marketing maintain that businesses will be more interested in adding promotions and advertisements in public spaces during events. A few more examples of our promotional images are life-sized virtual furniture, cars, and electronics. Companies can reach customers by using R to enable them to view products more closely without going to the store. IKEA, a furniture retailer, released an app in addition to its print catalog. As a buyer browses the catalog they can look at 3D photos of the furniture. Virtual images are also available to allow them to see whether an individual piece can fit in their space. With R some online stores don't even need to have a physical retail space. Shoppers can just have a look at the store's virtual image and even make their orders by tapping their phone screens. Search engine results combined with maps may help someone find products in their local area. However, most people cannot read maps correctly. Augmented reality apps are replacing the use of maps by allowing people to find what they need by imagery of their environment in real time. Companies are always competing for advertising space. R eliminates this problem because companies can show virtual banners in a real-time environment. Graphically overlaying the location of a business offering discounts and coupons might grab a potential buyer's attention. Augmented reality has been in existence for a very long time, only now it is more advanced. With the improvements, anyone can make money from it with a small amount of capital. With the fantastic and convenient methods of advertising, you don't need to compete for billboard space anymore. Please subscribe to Financier Pro YouTube channel.